What's going on guys, Lawson here. So if you've noticed over the past few weeks or so, I haven't been in my boat. We've been doing a lot of wade fishing, beach fishing, just fishing from shore, a bunch of different stuff that I have really loved doing and there's a reason for that. So if you notice we're not in the water right now, I'm in a parking lot and next to me is my boat. I'm selling it. We're getting rid of it. It has been a wonderful boat and has basically helped me build the channel that I have now and that you guys are all part of. But the boat is gonna be sold. It has been a wonderful thing, but as I have developed more as an angler, I have learned that I want something a little more specialized. This boat is incredible. It is like the perfect in-between of a flats boat, like a polling skiff, and a bay boat. It's that perfect in-between, but I am wanting to get into a traditional true polling skiff, something for chasing bonefish, redfish, tarpon, permit, like a real, real skinny water vehicle is what I want to get into now. So, unfortunately, we're gonna be saying goodbye to the Hughes here. It has been an incredible boat, but uh, it's time has passed and so we're gonna be selling it. But we're gonna run you through the boat here really quick and uh, maybe we'll talk about some great memories we've had of this bad boy. All right, the boat right here that we're dealing with, if you don't know, I don't know if I've ever really specified that much, is an 18 foot 2016 Hughes Red Fisher. Now Hughes are actually made by the Maverick Company, which they make Pathfinders, Mavericks, Hughes, and Cobia boats, like some of the best boats ever. So we'll start up front breaking down. Trolling motor, a 85 pound thrust iPilot Minn Kota, this thing, is my workhorse. I use this more than my outboard motor. You guys know and you always complain about how much I'm screwing around with my remote on this thing, but because of how great of a tool this is, I catch so many fish on this bad boy. So I'll come back. Up front, big giant storage hatch up here for anchor, life jackets, throwables, fire extinguisher, everything you need up here. A humongous casting deck huge the gas tank is right here a 30 gallon tank that is huge i have never ever had any problems with gas on this thing and it runs amazingly inside of the boat right here big giant gunnels to walk across if you guys watch my videos you see me running across them all the time fishing and then underneath here there's rod storage going both ways for fly rods and just your spinning gear or bait casting gear, whatever. Huge, giant gunnel storage systems on both sides of the boat. There is six rod, stainless steel rod holders on each side of the console, three on each side. Beautiful grab rail. And then up here, big, giant, dry storage right here that I actually used for a long time as my tackle cabinet. That's what I stored all of my boxes inside, all my leader, lures terminal tackle anything you think of it was in there center console right here actually has three batteries in it one for the electronics and two for my trolling motor because that's how much I run my trolling motor on this thing has a Garmin 741 XS that was just newly put in here and it's quite fantastic someone's gonna say a little peeny yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, I literally just was reminded by my girlfriend. I have in fact done a breakdown of this boat video before, but I took it off the internet because it was terrible. You guys who've been watching the channel for a long time probably know what video I'm talking about. Okay, in the center right here, I have a very large live well that I put all my mullet in, and then right here is a humongous release well. So, the idea is you keep your bait in here and say you're fishing for redfish or snook or trout, you could fill this release well up with water and put your redfish in there while you're getting your camera gear ready to take photos or whatever it is. Also, I just use this as a secondary live well. If I have mullet in here, I'll put like finger mullet in here and big giant horse mullet in here. It works fantastic. At the back of the boat, we have a Yamaha 115 show. I have not ever had a single problem with this engine. It has been a beast for me. This boat right here, the Hughes, it drafts around 10 to 11 inches, has a 30 gallon tank, a big 115 on it. It's a decently heavy boat, like a heavy duty boat, and this thing still flies upwards of like 37 miles per hour with this 115 on it. It is a unit. And then finally, over here, 
Just a little dry storage hatch. Just a little dry storage hatch where you have access to all of your breakers and water separator. This boat has been like a dream for me. It has helped me accomplish so many things. I can think of just like all of the incredible experiences I've gotten to have in this boat and all the giant fish and even the little ones that I've gotten to catch this boat. And uh, I feel very sentimental towards this thing, but sometimes you gotta just be able to release objects in your life. And I think that it's gonna be a great change for the channel it is gonna be getting rid of the bay boat like thing and going to a traditional polling skiff. And then maybe, who knows, someday down the future, five, 10 years down the future, I might have my polling skiff and the dream would be to have a polling skiff and then to have a nice center console, like a 25 foot, 26 foot center console one day. But that's way in the future. And I think that would be amazing. But right now in my life, and if you guys watch my videos, I don't do a ton of offshore fishing because this boat's a great bay boat and you could take it out in like two to three, but it's just not my thing. I love to fish inshore. And so why not get a boat that's gonna be specialized for that and really just make that happen for me? So I am, making my peace with saying goodbye to this baby. And today I'm gonna to be taking it up to a dealer to be sold and uh, maybe we'll catch up with you guys there. All right, tough moment for me here, but we are saying goodbye to the Hughes. It has served us well and we'll talk a little more about it when I get back to the house. But if you guys are interested in this boat or boat in general, it's gonna be for sale at Lindsay Marine here in Stewart and I know you're probably asking no I do not have any association with them their last name is spelled differently than mine not related I've had people ask before but I will leave a number below and if you're curious come here come check it out it's gonna be for sale and you can see the rig that has made the channel so far all right I'm gonna catch up with you guys back at the house all right back home at the house you know it was a funny thing the whole entire day or the past week or so when i've been getting the boat cleaned up and then i was taking it to be sold today i was just really excited like super pumped up and i still am but it was the funniest thing i finished talking with the guys at lindsey marine and got everything set up to be having it sold and i was driving out of the parking lot and just like said peace out to my boat and i was kind of sad honestly you know if you guys have watched my channel for a while 90% of my videos have taken place in that boat. It has been the setting for many of my fishing adventures. And it has been an amazing boat, but it's just time to move on to something a little different. As you guys can probably see, I primarily fish in shore most of the time. The boat, the Hughes, is an incredible boat, but I just fish by myself so much. I just actually don't need that much boat. It's a perfect boat for you and a few buddies to go out fishing, or if you have a family and want to take them out, it is an epic boat and the reason I originally got it I was actually gonna guide out of the boat I have my captain's license and I was gonna guide out of the boat and that was the game plan and then simultaneously my YouTube career started to take off and it was like oh I can make a career still fishing but I get to be the one fishing and I get to share with people in a completely different way than guiding and so my original intent when I got the boat was you know something in between a flats boat and a bay boat. Something that I can take shallow, but can still handle some rougher rides and really just a great passenger fishing boat. And as I've grown, I moved away from the idea of guiding and pursue YouTube full time now. And the reality is I fish by myself a lot, most of the time. And if not, it's Zeke is with me, or my girlfriend Chelsea is with me and she's just behind the camera filming. I don't need that big of a boat. I want to move into something that is a small polling skiff that I can take into places unknown, areas unfished, and really start traveling across Florida and anywhere there's fish. And it'll be a lot easier to take a small polling skiff you know, 200 miles up to the panhandle of Florida or whatever, or rip across to the other coast. It's just gonna open up a whole world of opportunities. And the idea is it's gonna be an adventure boat. You know, something that I'm gonna pack my camping gear into it and we're gonna go live in the Everglades for a week. You know, we're gonna pack up, go to the Keys for a few days. Just the options are endless and it's gonna open up to chase more redfish, bonefish, permit, tarpon in the flats you know stuff that i've never really done and 
I think it's gonna be hard. I've never pulled a boat before, and I'm gonna have to learn how to do that, or teach Zeke how to do that for me. And uh, we're gonna have to really stretch ourselves out, but I think it's gonna open up just a world of adventure for this channel. And that's what I'm really excited about. It's not necessarily the boat, but where this new boat is gonna take us. But that's the thing. I haven't decided on what new boat I'm getting. Pulling skiffs is what I'm looking for. Anything from 15 to 18 feet. You know, a nice light boat that I can draft six inches like maximum. I want something that is gonna get me to places untouched by most anglers. I want something that's gonna put me in the fish. So if you guys have any suggestions of pulling skiffs that you think those are really cool. I would love to see you look into those things. <laughs> we'll have to see if they're in the price range or not. But I am in the market and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. It's been an amazing few years and I could not be more grateful for what I've gotten to do with that boat that I said goodbye to today. And, um, but look forward to the future. You know, you can't really hold on to material things too much. You kind of just got to let those things go. And the boat, as much as an attachment I can have to it, at the end of the day, it is a tool. It's a fishing tool to help me get to the fish and to catch more fish. Over the next few weeks, while we try to find a new boat, it's gonna be a little bit of run and gun. You know, I got that new paddleboard, so we'll do some paddleboard fishing, and that's gonna be like my little vessel for now. Beach fishing is on fire. Sharks, pompano, you name it, big bluefish all off the beach. The wade fishing has been really incredible getting to learn how to do that. I've already been making contacts with other guys out there and people all the time say, hey, you wanna come out and fish? And uh, I don't got a boat now, so I'll probably join you. It's been an amazing time and I can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Our channel, we're closing in on 100K. I mean, 100,000 subscribers is gonna happen before you know it and I couldn't be more grateful to all you guys because you have helped me make all of these dreams come true and I know that's cheesy or sentimental but it's the reality of what's going on and so as we move forward I'm gonna keep cranking out videos after video and it's gonna be an epic time and uh, I can't thank you guys enough if you enjoy the channel you enjoy the videos make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and hit the little notification bell I mean you guys are awesome until the next video, see ya.